the forehead of your robot. The story is minorly altered for this narration. It was due to plagiarism, or any other elements that were found unnecessary. There were some minor changes in the narration. Enjoy. The city of Cartersville, GA, can have some pretty low-budget local television shows. Bad quality, really static-filled, etc. Let's get on with the story. My living room TV had no cable box. So it had a few channels. When my room was swarmed with beetles, I would decide to sleep in the living room on the couch, looking for a channel to illuminate the room or to watch. It was 9.56, I was on the couch awake swarming through channels like usual, until I discovered a new channel with the number, 17B. This was strange, because I never heard of a B channel before. All I saw was just SMPTE bars on the screen. I decided that it was good, because there is really nothing else to watch on TV anyway. As soon as 10 struck, I was greeted with static, and then a terribly static-like picture of what looks like a red pupil by, with, WKYS 333, under it, with very creepy looping music playing. The static flashed, and the main screen distorts, before it displayed a silent video of wildlife, showing various animals. It was really shuddersome and odd. After the wildlife video ended, the main screen appeared again, but red, and the music was slower than before. This really scared me. I wanted to turn the TV off so bad, but something in my mind was keeping me from watching it. So I continued to watch the channel. After a few seconds of the eerie red screen, a video of a Santa Fe train passing. I don't even know what was happening on this channel. After the noisy train passed through, the main screen returned, but with no sound. Static came, but longer than last time. Before it stopped, the music was slowly fading in, and the red screen came back, but it began to shine. I was dumbfounded, confused and scared at that point. The TV then just went black for a minute. When the main screen came back on, the red bar with text was missing, and no music. No TV distortion either. The music came on 16 seconds later, and it switched to a disturbing alien-like figure, saying, no! Twice. The sight of it made me sick. What came on next terrified me like never before. An episode of a creepy obscure puppet show came on, except it was messed up and distorted, and loud distorted screaming was heard throughout. I tried to look away, and was crying my eyes out, when the memories came back to me when I was small. The main screen came back on, and turned to the red slowed down screen, but much louder. Finally the station went off the air. I turned the TV off, and tried to go to sleep, scared stiff. The next day, I woke up to the TV, now playing the normal church channel, which my one puts on for the consumers. I started up my laptop to see if I can find anything about WKYS 333. I found a Wikipedia page about it. I read the article, and the TV channel used to seem so fun, playing awesome TV shows for all ages until the creator and operator, Winston Buckaby, died of cancer. WKYS 333 was shut down after his passing. It never went on air again. But I was questioning myself, how did I see it that night? Am I being haunted? I doubted that, until I learned that the abandoned building across the street was the WKYS 333 building. I went to explore it, and when I was inside, it was just a terrible mess, but the equipment was still there. I went to see if it was working, but it was just a show. No electronics, nothing. I went home and I decided to investigate Channel 17 before the next few weeks. I will keep you guys updated in this post and will post videos on my new YouTube channel, WKYS Archive. But for now, see you later. Update. I have learned that the channel went on broadcast five times a night for six minutes or more, displaying random content from mildly odd, to excruciatingly horrifying. And the channel, 17B, contains a letter B, because I have an old TV that had B channels, which were static, except for 17B. A video has been uploaded to WKYS Archive. I will keep you informed.